The universe is a vast mass of space containing planets, galaxies, meteors, and black holes. It's huge and all-consuming, yet mysterious and unknowable at the same time. How did it come to be? What shape is it? Is there anything outside of it? Geometric mind benders and weird foamy particles are just two of the subjects covered here. The more you investigate, the wilder it gets. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 wild theories about the universe. 25. Brain World Is there more to our universe than we can imagine? Brain World theory was proposed by physicist Lisa Randall and Raman Sundrum. It suggests we're living on a single surface area that is one of many we can't see. This surface is a membrane, which is where the name Brain World comes from. The brain is apparently made up of our four dimensions, length, width, depth, and time. It's also within a wider space referred to as the bulk. Brain world theory provides a possible answer to questions that experts have had about the weaknesses of gravity. This could be a force that isn't confined to our brain, whereas the other forces are squarely on it, potentially explaining why they are much more powerful. 24. Big Splat There's the Big Bang, and then there's the Big Splat. This colorfully titled theory is an extension of the giant impact hypothesis, as outlined by geologist Reginald Daly in the 1940s. The giant impact hypothesis states that billions of years ago, a planet collided with the Earth. The resulting chunks were then formed into a ball shape by universal forces, and that's what created the moon. Now, the big splat theory goes a stage further. Due to moon rock analysis that indicates the moon contains material from our planet only, scientists now think a big planet ran into us and grazed along our side, rather than splatting into us and creating a chunky moon mixture. 23. All about the plasma. Instead of an epic explosion creating the universe, what if it was quieter and more subtle than that? This is where the plasma-filled cosmos theory comes in. Devised by plasma physicist and electrical engineer Hannes Alfien, it puts the emphasis firmly on plasma and electromagnetic forces as key players in the formation of the universe. And if you don't know, plasma is a really hot gas, one of the four states of matter in our universe. Meanwhile, powerful electromagnetic forces are generated between electrons and protons. Other experts cite gravity as a major factor in the universe, and that everything was much more dynamic. Alfian believed in the power and plasma, and thought as a result that the universe had no start and no finish. 22. The Gravity of the Situation Continuing on from the previous entry, gravity is relied upon heavily by those wishing to devise a theory of how our universe was born. As I said before, it's a super strong force that shapes planets. However, it's considered fairly weak when compared to other forces out there. Gravity can hold a star in check, but what if a star is moving so fast that it could conceivably break free of gravity, yet doesn't? Some reckon that assumptions about gravity should fly off into space and be replaced by something called MOND, suggested by physicist Mordechai Milgram in the early 1980s. These initials stand for Modified Newtonian Dynamics and accounts for other factors that could be preventing those stars from shooting away into the cosmos. 21. Quantum Zeno Effect Can you keep something alive simply by looking at it? This is the wild idea underpinning the quantum Zeno effect. According to this theory, by viewing a radioactive particle with the potential to be unstable, you slow the decay of that particle through the sheer observation of it. And if that sounds completely bizarre, then, well, welcome to the world of physics. Specifically, quantum mechanics. Put as straightforwardly as possible, quantum mechanics is the study of things at an atomic or subatomic level. The first described in 1977 by Baidinath Misra and George Sudarshan, quantum Zeno effect has reportedly been proven. Try and get your head around that. 20. The Fractal Universe Fractals are all around the world, even if you don't know what they are. I mean, Elsa even mentioned it and let it go. My soul is spiraling in frozen fractals all around. Benoit Mendelbrot is the mathematician behind fractals, building on ideas dating back to the early 20th century. What exactly are they? Well, imagine a plant and the way it grows. 
It's organic and spontaneous, yet at the same time, it seems to follow a pre-programmed design or plan. These reoccurring patterns go on and on, creating beautiful and puzzling effects in the natural world and beyond. So it makes sense to have a theory of the universe inspired by fractals. Could we have a relationship with the universe that's comparable to Russian dolls, layers within layers reoccurring forever? And if we study these universal patterns and the structures of our cosmic materials, might we come closer to unlocking the nature of the universe itself? Well, probably not, but either way, fractals look amazing. 19. Infinite Cycles The universe appears to have been born, so at some point in the future, it'll die. Is this necessarily a bad thing? Our universe is thought by some to move in infinite cycles. Once it's done, it expires, and a whole other universe takes its place. As for how our universe ages, well, the jury is out. It's believed we're expanding, and once we've expanded to the fullest extent, we could, well, snap back again before the expansion starts over. This has been referred to as an oscillating universe, considered by none other than Albert Einstein. Now, if we're fated to exist in infinite cycles, does that mean I have to make this video all over again in the next universe? 18. Self-Aware Universe This wild theory proposes that consciousness is so prevalent in the universe that we can classify it as a key factor in how everything works. It's connected to the philosophical idea of panpsychism, where reality is made up of collective consciousness. In that sense, it's more important than matter. Many fine minds have mulled over the subject of panpsychism, such as noted philosopher Bertrand Russell. Nuclear physicist Amit Goswami even released a book in 1993 titled The Self-Aware Universe. This offered an alternate view of how the universe was made. Turns out, it's really all in your mind. 17. Frozen Universe The universe could eventually reach a state referred to as maximum entropy. This is basically where all energy has been used and everything loses heat. In fact, reality would grind to a halt, turning us from a vibrant place of life into a vast cosmic graveyard. How cold does it get? Some think something called the heat death of the universe will take place. This concept goes back to the late 18th century and astronomer jean sylvain Bailly However, a more modern interpretation is that of the Big Freeze, where the graveyard that used to be a universe would also be seriously cold. I'd say go grab your thermals, but you wouldn't have any energy left to actually go get them. 16. Biological SETI The truth is out there. As a popular sci-fi franchise once said, it could also be in here, inside our bodies. What do I mean? This is biological SETI theory. SETI stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Connected to mathematician Vladimir Sherbach and senior researcher Maxim Makukov, it suggests that aliens encoded our DNA with evidence of their own existence. If that were true, it would definitely set the cosmic cat among the physics professor pigeons. Is that a saying? Alright. 15. Scale Invariance as you've probably worked out by now, nothing is particularly straightforward when it comes to the origins of the universe. For instance, if the universe was created with one great big messy bang, how can it truly be understood in an organized way? You need a comprehensive set of rules to go by, which is what the laws of physics are used for. Cosmic fluctuations, which helped form the universe theoretically happen in both big and small sizes. Despite this variance, under the laws of physics, everything has an unchangeable quality, no matter the scale. In other words, length, energy, time, and other things can be subject to stretching and compressing, but the laws of physics remain unaffected and the same rules apply. Variance, or something inconsistent, becomes invariance, i.e. fixed and never changing. How else could scientists work things out? 14. Quantum Foam an empty jar is just that, an empty jar. Is it though? That sense of emptiness isn't what it seems. There's actually something called quantum foam existing in the gap where your cookies used to be. I did not keep cookies in this. <laughs> John Wheeler was responsible for identifying it in the mid 1950s. It's called that because of the way it's been observed to bubble in a foamy way. What exactly is it that's foaming? 
subatomic particles, which can be pretty much created out of thin air through non-zero energy. You uh, might need to read a book on quantum mechanics to grasp the rest. Feel free to pause the video while you go and do that, or you can just enjoy the wild idea of quantum foam and move on to the next item. 13. Steady State Theory In 1948, scientists Fred Hoyle, Herman Bondi, and Thomas Gold worked on the steady state theory of the universe. We tend to think of the origin of the universe in relation to the Big Bang. This actually took over from steady state, where everything expands and grows cooler. As the universe is expanding, it's also constantly replenishing itself, filling any potential void left behind by the cosmic expansion. Under this theory, the universe began approximately 14 billion years ago and has expanded to the point where it doesn't have a beginning or end. Though it's continuously in motion, the universe is reliably steady and fixed in nature, as dictated by the perfect cosmological principle. 12. The String Theory Landscape now, before I explain this particular theory, I'd better give you an idea of what string theory is. Putting it as simply as possible, physics can be concerned with the study of particles. These particles have points. An alternative way of looking at this is by imagining strings instead of points. It's basically another window onto how the universe works, though I use the word basically in its loosest sense. String theory landscape incorporates string theory. Surprise, surprise and it also uses cosmic expansion, or a super-fast expansion of the universe in its early days that resulted in a whole bunch of universes. Anyway, the upshot of this is that we're possibly part of a pocket of universes called, and you may have guessed this by now, the multiverse. Hollywood has certainly made a lot of money out of this idea in recent years. 11. Hawking Radiation The late Professor Stephen Hawking's contribution to our understanding of the universe is immense. One of the things he came up with in the 70s is Hawking radiation, which is radiation produced by a black hole. This is pretty strong stuff, capable of shrinking the mass of the black hole. It could even lead to one evaporating. The thermal radiation comes out spontaneously, kind of like cosmic burps. Because black holes are associated with death and destruction, it's maybe a little reassuring to hear that something can theoretically destroy them. 10. Tired Light Hypothesis is it possible for light to travel so far that it gets tired? And furthermore, that you can tell that it's tiring due to the color? Building on ideas by the astronomer Edwin Hubble, the presence of red light as viewed in faraway galaxies may indicate that the light has lost its energy. Tired light hypothesis counters the idea that the universe is expanding. In layman's terms, this red light may well have just gotten beat and gone for a lay down. 9. Two-State Vector Formalism how do you describe a quantum state? Would you have the first clue where to begin? Well, according to theoretical physicist Satoshi Watanabe, you need to be keeping your eye on a couple of important things. There's the first state vector, or the future in quantum terms. And then there's the second state vector, relating to the past. Studying this pair together gives you a strong overall quantum picture. 8. Fine-tuning argument. You'd think with all this talk of science that religion wouldn't get a look in. In fact, there's a theory that physics can be used to demonstrate the existence of God. The fine-tuning argument essentially states that by looking at the fine details of the universe, we can detect an overall plan and hence a godlike figure who made it all. This kind of argument was made following the discovery of the Big Bang Theory. Once experts began realizing how specific the universe was, the potential for an almighty creator shaping the cosmos became more likely. 7. Hollow Moon Mankind has walked on the moon for sure, but was he ever in danger of falling through it? According to one theory of the universe, he could have been riding his lunar rover or playing golf on a hollow sphere. At least, the moon is believed by some to have been hollow at some point. That's because of data provided through the study of moonquakes or seismic activity on the surface. How are these generated? Astronauts actually made their own moonquake with Apollo 12 in 1969 when they crashed their module after deliberately jettisoning it. The readings led some to think this was a hollow object. I should add that this is among the wildest of all the theories on this list, as it's been poo-pooed as a conspiracy theory. 6. Living in a Black Hole Getting sucked into the pull of a black hole is surely a cosmic fate worse than death and would really suck. But, sorry. 
With that in mind, I have an idea that's pretty unnerving. Seemingly named after astronomer Carl Schwarzschild, the Schwarzschild cosmology theory states that our universe was formed inside the dreaded confines of a black hole. This is apparently a baby type universe expanding inside the black hole, which in turn is contained within a parent universe. Five, Planet X. Planet X reportedly spelled bad news for our reality. Otherwise known as Nibiru, this out of control object would be ramming its celestial body against ours, leading to the Earth's destruction. Predicted by David Mead, it was a terrifying prospect. Thankfully, in spite of various predictions a few years ago, Planet X didn't arrive. Four, Space Snake. If a NASA astronaut describes seeing a horrifying creature out of the window during a space mission, would you believe them? Story Musgrave, and yes, that is his real first name, revealed in 1996 that he spotted a snake measuring around 50 feet from a space shuttle during the previous decade. Is story telling a story? Or do enormous serpents slither their way through the cosmos? Reports that the beast was adjacent to a giant ladder have been debunked. But we all know about the, the, the Purgles in Star Wars, the space whales. Those totally exist. Three, Donutverse. We now chuckle at the thought of a flat Earth. But did you know our universe is considered to be this shape? Experts were incorrect about a flat planet, so maybe they're mistaken about a flat universe also? A report from early 2023 said that a donut is a conceivable shape for the reality we live in. How does that work? Through the study of cosmic microwaves. Fluctuations in these waves are used to judge the shape, and because ancient light rays don't appear to move in a straight line, the theory has emerged that the universe has a curved donut-like geometry to it. Two, Saturn's hexagon. Just what is that hexagonal shape on the surface of Saturn's North Pole? Discovered by NASA's Voyager spacecrafts in the 80s and explored further by the later Cassini probe, it looks freaky, but has a fairly normal explanation. It's a cloud pattern, measuring approximately 9,000 miles along the side. That doesn't stop the wild speculation, however. Aliens probably aren't involved here, though the sight of a tower-like vortex at either end of the planet certainly gets keyboard warriors and trained experts alike fired up. 1. Black Knight Satellite Check out this mysterious object, photographed in space whilst a NASA shuttle hooked up with the International Space Station in 1998. This so-called satellite is believed by some to be 13,000 years old and a source of radio pulses. These pulses may well have been picked up by pioneering inventor and engineer Nikola Tesla. Decades later, a ham radio in Oslo detected similar suspicious activity. If you're becoming intrigued and excited, then let me stop you right there. According to NASA's Jerry Ross, what you're looking at is in fact a thermal blanket that detached from a module. For some, however, the Black Knight is still out there in space, waiting for the next unsuspecting person to receive his pulse. So, do you have any universe theories? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And you know what? We have even more cosmic craziness for you with another video we made. It's called 25 Mind-Blowing Facts About the Universe You Need to Know, and the link for it is right here. So I will see you next time for another list, or I'll see you this time once you click this one and watch this one. But you know, if you're big fans of ours, I'm sure you've already watched this. <laughs> but if you haven't, totally click it, especially if you like space stuff. You're on this list. Of course you like space stuff. Do more space stuff.